Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be hooking up the Xbox Ally X to the One X GPU 2. This has the AMD 7800M graphics card in it. This will be a similar process if you're using the One X GPU 1 or GPD G1 or the One X GPU Lite. The process should be the same for any of these eGPUs for AMD. Now I haven't turned this on yet or set anything up yet. We're going to go through that process together here. But the logic is going to be the same for any of these Z2 Extreme devices, whether you're using the Legion Go 2 or using the Xbox Ally X or the MSI Claw with the Z2 Extreme. This is going to be, again, same logic. You can reference this to set this up. So I have the Thunderbolt cable here connected. You can see there's a little 5 there because I am using a Thunderbolt 5 cable from Cable Matters. I'll leave a link to it in the description if you want to pick one of those up. The One X Player cable that comes with this is a Thunderbolt 4 cable. It's just not a great cable. So if you're using that cable, I highly recommend switching to a Thunderbolt 5 cable for the One X GPU 2. If you're using the One X GPU 1, you can still use a, a different Thunderbolt 4 cable. I just find that this one works really well. And of course, we're not getting the Thunderbolt 5 connection on here. Again, I just found that this cable does work really well and it's backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 4. So with that connected, on the Xbox Ally X, you have to use the left side port. If you don't use the left side port, it's not going to work. The right side port is not meant for eGPU support. So with this connected, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on first and then turn on the Xbox Ally X. Now the RGB should light up here. Perfect. It did. That's how we know that it's triggered being recognized. So that is a really good sign if the RGB is on and it should realistically stay lit the whole time. Now, let's assume that you've already updated everything on your Xbox Ally X or on your Legion Go. You should be all set with all the drivers, any BIOS updates. Again, just update everything, go into Armory Crate, go into Legion Space, make sure you have the most recent and the driver on here. And if you're not sure if you do, just you can go to the website, you can push a, an update there, or you can just go into Armory Crate, again, check for updates. So if we go into Armory Crate here, again, or Legion Space or the MSI Claw app, whatever that's called, you can go in and, and just check for updates. There's an update center here, check for updates, and you can go ahead and turn on automatic essential updates if you want. That's that's totally fine now if, uh, if you wanna trigger, you know, some of the updates to happen automatically, but check for updates, see if there's anything available. You can also go into My Asus, check that for updates, check Windows updates, check optional updates in Windows updates. There's a bunch of things that you'll wanna just double check. So assuming that you're good to go on all of the updates, now we can go flip over to exit full screen experience and go into the desktop. So exit full screen experience, yes. And now we're into the desktop. So in here on desktop mode, we can go into the AMD app, just at the very bottom corner here. It should be there and available. I'm just gonna double click that so we can check the version of the application. And if I just click settings here, so we can see it's 25.10.25.17. And the release date on here is September 8th, 2025. So if you have anything earlier than that date at the point of this video, make sure that you update. The other thing we wanna do is actually go into device manager and you can do that by hitting the little search bar here, type in device, device manager should be the first thing that pops up. And then we can go into display adapters and you can see that it does recognize that I have the One X GPU 2 here, but the driver is from 2024. So we do need to update this specific driver. You can't just plug it in and let it go. It just doesn't work that way. So properties here on the 890M, which is the iGPU for the Z2 Extreme chip, you can see that it's September 8th, 2025, and that is the date of the driver. So now what we need to do is actually go to the AMD website and download the driver for this device. I'll leave links to the drivers in the description below, so if you wanna click that, you can get to the drivers a little bit faster that way. Now, if it is your first time looking for the drivers, um, you can go to the AMD website, you can go to resources and support, and then on here there's drivers and that's gonna take us to this page. So if someone says, hey, yeah, did you update your chipset? This is what the chipset is. It's right here. It's the first page that you're greeted by. So if you are having extra issues, you can try upgrading your chipset on here. But otherwise, you wanna actually go down here and find your device. So graphics is what I'm gonna look for, and it's in the RX family and the 7000 series. 
Now, again, the 1X GPU 2 is the 7800M, so make sure you select the right one. There are a few different 7800s in here. Again, I will leave links in the description to the specific drivers so you can click on them. Now, there is an optional update, and then there's a regular update. Typically, it's best to use the regular update, and if you see the release date is the same as the driver that I have on the device right now. So we're gonna try this update first, and then if you are having issues, you can try the optional update. Otherwise, you can go down here to previous versions, and you can go and select a previous date. So I know for sure that this one worked with the original Ally X and with the Legion Go. So if you are having issues, you can always revert back to a lower date. But here I'm going to go over and select this 25.9.1 and download that. Ideally, you wanna have the Xbox Ally X or Legion Go 2 driver date to be a higher date or the same date is the driver that you're downloading for this system so that it recognizes it properly. So I'm gonna save as, I'm gonna put it into my downloads folder, save it, and then now I can open the file, hit yes. Okay, I don't want to help them do anything. The additional options here, I'm gonna go ahead and select driver only. And that's just so that I don't mess with the software that's already installed for this device. So I just want the driver only. I'm gonna accept and install, and we're gonna let the install run. Things are gonna flash, disconnect, reconnect, especially if you have a keyboard and mouse connected through the 1X GPU 2 or 1 or 1X GPU Lite or GPD G1, whichever device you're using as an eGPU. If you have a keyboard and mouse connected to it or an external monitor, things are gonna flash right now, and that's totally normal. So you see the XConnect technology app has popped up in the bottom corner. That's really good. That's what we want to see happen on this device. Okay, so now it says restart is recommended. So we're gonna go ahead and restart the device. And when we restart on the Xbox Ally X, it's gonna restart into the full screen experience. So again, we're gonna have to exit back and go into the desktop to check out if the drivers work properly. I'll show you as well that the One X GPU 2, when I rebooted it, everything is good with the RGB. It's totally lit. If you do want to shut off the RGB on this device, you just have to hold the RGB button down and that'll shut it off. You can also see that there's a little purple button here. That means it's in turbo mode. So by default, the One X GPU 2 is in turbo mode. If you want to turn that off, just press the turbo button. It'll turn blue and that means that you're on like a lower power state. So the fans will be a little less noisy. You'll have a little bit less power performance pushing, but if you're playing a lower end game that doesn't really need the full power, you can reduce that. And again, that'll make it a little bit quieter of an experience for you. Let's get back to the install. Again, I'm gonna go back to full screen, exit to desktop, and search bar again, device manager. Now when we go back into device manager, you can see that the driver date on the 7800M has updated and you can see that nothing has changed on the one that we had originally for the Z2 Extreme, so that still says September 8th, 2025. We also have the XConnect app that's up here and running, which is great. We did lose the AMD app, but you can reinstall the driver for the Xbox Ally X or the Legion Go 2 if you want to get that app back in. It's not a big deal unless you want to be able to make adjustments within the app, but when you're in Xbox full screen experience, it gives you a lot of just options that you can work with anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and just test to make sure that this driver is working properly. I'm gonna restart and go back into the full screen experience so we can run a 3D Mark Time Spy benchmark to test out the eGPU. If you do want a little bit more help getting the AMD app back in action on the desktop, I'll leave a link in the description to a video that I did for installing updates on the Xbox Ally X. And at the end of that video, I go through the process of how to get the app back. So if you wanna check that out, you can. Again, the link is in the description. Now, when we're connected to the eGPU, I typically leave it at 17 watts instead of 35 watts because you really crank the watts on the actual device when you're using the iGPU. But when you're not using the iGPU, it's best to just leave it at that 17 watts. You'll notice that it won't get as hot and the performance is actually very similar between the devices. The most you would wanna do is maybe 20 watts if you wanna do a custom TDP, but I wouldn't push it past that on here because there's no need to. You, you don't need to push a higher wattage on the actual device. And we have power pass through on here. You really wanna keep the power to the eGPU. 
Now, CPU boost on and off, pick that as you may per game. Like that's, that's gonna be a preference. Just hit it on, hit it off, see which one works out better. If it's a CPU bound game, the CPU boost on will be more helpful for you. So like Helldivers 2 is a CPU bound game. That's gonna be more helpful. For the VRAM on these Z2 Extreme devices, the lowest amount of gigs that we have is a 24 because that's the Xbox Ally X and that's the MSI Claw. The Legion Go 2 has 32 gigs of RAM. So you should be able to set at eight gigs or 10 gigs of VRAM and be totally fine using the eGPU. I wouldn't set anything higher than that for the Xbox Ally X. If you're on the Legion Go 2 and you have 32 gigs of RAM, you can set up to 16 gigs of VRAM just you know, to leave it as is in the system and still give 16 gigs on the CPU. Again, totally up to you, you can use auto, but I just wouldn't put anything higher than that amount depending on the total system RAM that you have. Okay, so you can see the settings that I have here, 17 watts. I have CPU boost on for the time spy because it does do a CPU test, so it's gonna make it a little bit better. Also, if your Steam is kind of cut off like mine is here, if you wanna fix that, you can just tap the resolutions and it'll take you back to the 1080p and that's gonna get you back to where it's actually windowed properly on here. When you first boot up the 3 d Mark benchmark program, you'll notice that you'll actually have to install the Time Spy. So Time Spy is right here. I'm gonna click on that and then hit install, let it install, and then we can run the Time Spy benchmark after that. But again, this is a free program and it's a good way to check if your EGP was working properly with your device. All right, now that it is installed, you can see that it is selected automatically on the 7800M. That's what we want it to do for us to run the benchmark properly. So hit run, don't touch anything on the device, just let it do its thing, and then we'll see what the score is at the end. And if you're using the overlay, you know, in the Armory Crate button right here, so there's a little overlay that you can put on, That'll tell you, you know, if you're CPU bound or GPU bound in the game. So you can see if the percentage is higher, which one it's higher on, and that'll give you a good idea if you should have CPU boost on or off. But apparently the AI chips tend to like CPU boost on, it sounds like. So again, try it on, try it off, see which one works better. So here are the test results. You can see that the score is pretty decent. If you are using an external monitor, you actually will get better performance. But if you are using an external monitor, make sure that you connect the display port to the One X GPU and not from the device. If you connect from the device, you're not going to see the gains that you should be getting. So make sure you connect it from the eGPU dock or from you know, the graphics card. If you're using a different kind of eGPU, that's an AMD card because the setup's gonna be the same process if you're using any AMD graphics card. So make sure you connect it directly from those devices. And again, not out from here. That's gonna get you a little bit better of a performance gain. So as long as you're within this range, you've done a really good job, everything is working properly, and you can go ahead and start gaming. Make sure you check the description of my videos. I leave a lot of information in there, helpful tips and tricks for any of the devices that I talk about, any of the settings that I use. I leave a lot of information in there. So if you aren't looking at the descriptions, you're missing out on some helpful tips, tricks. If you have any questions, make sure that you leave them in the comments. If this worked out well for you, leave that in the comments too. Let me know that it worked out well. Make sure that other people can also see like what worked for you, did this help with your device? Hit that like button if it did help. It helps to support the channel and push this video to others so that they can be helped as well. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and take care till the next one.